welcome to probably the weirdest video that you will see today. I'm just kidding, it's definitely not, but I am a weird individual and I'll admit that. I don't know why I keep going like this. Anyway, welcome. Today we're doing a tutorial on this look right here. Very pretty. I love it. I like it. It's different than what I originally wanted, but I like it a lot. Pretend my scrunchie is purple that it matches my shirt, okay? Pretend. A little bit of a cold going on right now, so my voice is a little out of it, but I feel pretty good today. I have a lot of energy today. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty damn good today. I filmed, clearly, and you know, nothing makes me happier. I'm wearing full beat glam, which I have not done in ages. I even have lashes on today, y'all. I don't know, we're in it today. So, let's jump into this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. I want you to go over 1,000 subscribers, and let's go. To start with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Primer. This is in shade one. Um, I have talked about this a few times on my channel, and I mentioned that I didn't really care for it. Um, I thought it was way too liquidy and one of um, you guys actually told me to try it again with a very, very small amount of product, like the absolute smallest I can get out of here and it comes out like insane. So like I took literally just like the tip off this and it'll do my whole eyelid and let me tell you something that was so, so, such a good recommendation. Like it works so much better now, it's not creaking and like crumbling all over the place so that makes me very happy um as for as if it if it's my favorite primer oh, i don't know um i don't know i really don't um it's okay like i said like it's all right um i like it evens out my eyelids pretty well but is it my favorite primer out of the ones I have? No. Um, but, you know, it works. I um, do use it, so I have it. All right. Now that that is on, I'm going to take this. This is my first time ever using this palette, and I know I'm so, so late to the bandwagon on this. I've had this for months and I'm gonna lower you guys just a smidgen I feel like you guys are a little bit too high um I've had this for months and I just haven't had an opportunity to play with it it is the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Volume 2 um it looks like this as the day I'm filming this this is still currently on Lunar Beauty's website um I know it's limited edition but it looks like this I love Lunar Beauty's formula I just haven't had a chance to play with this. So I'm first gonna take the shade Sally, which is this gorgeous color right here, and that is my transition color. So I kind of started doing a different um, look first, and then I kind of switched to what you guys see over here. So I'm, I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps just so I want them to look as identical as possible. Um, but I was originally trying to do something else, and then I just like scrapped it halfway through. So that is kind of what's going on with this shape over here. So I'm gonna take Sally on a blending brush and I'm gonna pack it on very gently and then I'm gonna start swiping. And it is in my crease, but then I'm also going to not look dead on in my mirror, but look pretty close, but tilt my head back and raise it. I want the shadow brought up a little bit higher than normal today. Uh, I am planning on wearing big lashes, so I want the eyeshadow to really stand out. And I think once we have um, the base on, everything will look fine. Uh, you know, once I have foundation on, concealer, I have under eye shadow on, um, things will look okay. I know 
um, some of my followers are not into the whole dramatic looks and sometimes they think I bring up the color too high um, you can definitely keep it lower if you want and you can always clean it up as well with some concealer now I'm going to take a mixture of Alex and uh, Jillian Gillian Gillian I think it's Gillian not Jillian um, so this one and this one so this really light purple and then this like medium bright purple right here I couldn't decide which one to use so I used both and I'm just mixing them together like I said I love when your beauty's eyeshadow formula it is one of my faves and I'm putting that in my crease kind of focusing it in the crease at first and then I'm gonna bring it slightly up um, I didn't want the look to be completely peach with Sally I still wanted to keep you know that purple because I am using a purple tone I'm kind of keeping it purple today I'm actually changed into a purple shirt which you guys probably saw in the intro because um, I was wearing green and I felt like that just didn't make any sense so just going to kind of focus it in my natural crease here I do kind of have slightly hooded eyes um, and I don't have a whole lot of lid space um, I wasn't blessed with very big eyelids so I like to just take my natural crease which is right here you can actually feel that or you can see it um, on your eye and just keep the brush in there and then kind of wiggle back and forth and then I'm gonna go slightly above it I'm not gonna bring it up as high as uh, Sally so now I'm gonna take this shade right here which is called Maggie it is kind of like a perfect um, I would describe that as like a red grape color um, fun fact for you Maggie is actually the name of my car <laughs> And I'm going to take that on a brush that's kind of like this. Um, these brushes don't have names on them. I honestly have no idea where I got these. People have asked me before and I have no idea. I've had them for years and years and years. Uh, my mom actually bought me these many, many moons ago and I still have them. <laughs> I still like them, but um, it's like a dome, but it has like buffing it's really nice to get into the crease and be really precise because it is flat um, so I'm gonna take Maggie on the tip of that now I'm gonna take a brush very similar to that last one but it is a little bit slimmer and it's not um, domed it's flat up top and I'm gonna take Queenie which is like a blackberry wine color I would say I'm really bad at describing colors but I'm gonna take just a little bit of this this shade is really pigmented so I like to just be a little careful like I said I didn't want to make the look too dark um, and I'm just gonna focus this in the deepest part of my crease just like buffing it side to side and then I'll go in like little circular motions and then I'll do the same thing right here and I use these two brushes all the time for getting eyeshadow in to my crease because they are so precise. Uh, I think the style is called like a shader, shader brush or something. I'm not entirely sure. I am going to very quickly jump into another palette, um, which is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bloom Boss palette. It looks like this. This palette has been out for ages. Um, I was looking pretty closely at the two of them together. Um, they are, can I get them both in frame? They are pretty similar, but they are definitely not the same um, by any means, but they are pretty similar. Um, they work nice together. And I'm going to take the shade Berry Treasure, which is this one right here. It is stunning. And that is what is all over my lid. So I'm going to take it on. Just a flat brush. I love this shade so much. And I'm going to pack that on all over. It has reflect in it. So this shade does have quite a bit of fallout as you can see from those reflex. So again, this is a good time to do your base first. I originally left the inner part blank because I wanted to do like a really bright inner corner and you can kind of see it I kind of covered it up because I didn't like the way it looked but I wanted to keep the highlight part there 
um so when i highlight the inner corner it kind of ties it all in together but i was gonna like make it like a completely different color and when i did it i just wasn't in love with it so i just uh stopped it right there like i was like uh-uh nope so now I'm going to take the shade Mildred, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take that on my finger. I tried using it on a brush and I just wasn't in love with the way it looked. And now I'm going to pack that up the center. I'm going to start very gently and then I'm going to go back into that brush that had buried treasure on it. And I'm just going to buff out the edges a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Agatha, which is the lightest shade in this palette. It is this one right here. And that's what I put on my inner corner um, to kind of keep the look sparkly. I'm just going to do a little bit, like a really light amount. Like I said, I don't want the look to be originally what I thought I wanted it to be. <laughs> I just sided halfway through that I wasn't feeling that fantasy. Um touch that up again all right now comes for the fun part for me that is the eyeliner I'm gonna use the Tarte sex kitten um, eyeliner and hope that I can stay in frame for this I'm gonna zoom you out and hopefully I am in frame if not I'll just cut it out like I always do um, and I'm gonna attempt to recreate the same wing on my right eye this time. So I'm gonna take the Winky Luxe Dream Jelly Hydrator first. Um, and I can't get it open actually. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna use that to moisturize first. Um, I don't want to stick my hand in here. <laughs> I do like this product a lot. Um, I use it all the time. Uh, if you are new to my channel, <laughs> you probably don't know that, but if you have been here a minute, <laughs> you know my obsession with this. It is hardcore. <laughs> I um, love it. If you have dry skin, you will love this. Um, technically, it is, I think, like a skincare product. I think it's marketed as just like a moisturizer. Um, I like to put it on as either a moisturizer or a primer. I use it kind of as both. Uh, it just works so well. First, I'm going to take the Wonder Beauty Go Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Um, this product, I swear I put in my Get Rid Of box, but just now when I was looking through my primer drawer, I found it. So maybe I pulled it out for a reason. Maybe I actually didn't get rid of it. I don't know. So I'm just gonna put that kind of on high points in my face. I'm not gonna apply it directly to my forehead because um, sometimes I feel like it settles and I have lines in my forehead. <laughs> um, and I don't really want it to settle there. So I'm gonna take this, I really enjoy this. You do have to shake up. This is the Wet n Wild SpongeBob BFF Hydrating Brightening Primer Mist. I enjoy this a lot. Um, I was a big fan of the SpongeBob collection. If you haven't seen that review video of mine, I did do an entire review over the entire collection. And spoiler alert, I'm a big fan. So it would help if I was throw a spray at my face. I feel like the sprayer might be a little clogged because it was only spraying out on one side. But I like that a lot. I like the way it gives my skin like a nice light wash of color. It's not an or color um, glow. It's not something super intense. You can kind of see it when I turn my head. Um, so I'm just gonna let that soak for a minute. I need like a fan. I'm going to use this foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy one in the shade Porcelain. Uh, I feel like I haven't really given a lot of my foundations like a fair shot. 
I really need to start doing, uh, like keeping better track of foundations that I've used recently. Um, but I've been filming so f like far apart from me one another that it's hard for me to remember what I've recently used in videos. Um, so I need to just like start keeping a list or something. It's just like life has been crazy. Uh, I am planning on filming a video probably in July, hopefully. Uh, a little bit more about what's been going on just because we're right now. Uh, I don't really have any answers for you and I wish that I did, but I, I truly don't. Um, like, um, I've been referred to a different doctor and I don't see them until June. So, um, it's kind of like, well, what's going on? And the answer right now that I can give you is I don't know. I have this product and it's new to me. I've never used it. Let me get it out here. This is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. I have been wanting to try these forever. I do have, let me pull it out here, one of the putty blushes in Turks and Caicos. Yes, and I love it. It is, if I can get it out here, like beautiful. It actually looks pretty with my eyes today. Um, but I've been wanting to try the bronzers for a really long time, and I'm pretty sure this would be an okay contour color. Let's see what it looks like, shall we, on the back of my hand. Oh, it's pretty warm, but could I get away with it as a contour color? Because sometimes you can use warm tones as a contour, and I think, I think it might be okay, because it's not super warm. Mm, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid. Let me, because so I have this, um, and this has contour shade in it and let me just wipe this brush off real quick and compare the two tones so this is um, definitely a different price point um, I there's a lot of different shades but this is the only one I have this is a Kevin Aquan contour book and it has like a cream contour in it let me see the tone in this because I really like the tone of this one I just want to know either how similar they are or how different they are like is it if it's too much I can always use it as a cream bronzer which is like the whole point of it so that's the difference so this was kevin aquan that one's elf so it's definitely warmer um yeah i think it might be better just to use it as a bronzer which again is like the whole point of it um but on my skin tone i think it will be i don't think it'll be a very nice uh contour color i think it's just gonna be a little too warm so I'm just gonna take um, this, it's, like I said, is the Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 2, just because I have it out here, and I'm gonna take Sculpting Cream, which is the cream contour, obviously. I'm gonna take this shade, which again is in tan lines. It's actually the only one my Walmart had. And I've seen these um, in like Ulta, but they never had a shade light enough for me. Story of my life. Um, so I never picked one up. But when I saw this, I was like, yes. So I had to snatch it. I bought some elf stuff i love elf as a brand elf was um like the first brand that i really got into makeup with um i really loved their eyeshadows at the time i haven't tried an elf palette in years i don't think i have any um but i used to be like obsessed with my elf palette and that shade is 
gorgeous. I don't even think I needed to technically contour. I could have just used this. Like this is beautiful. This is a beautiful color. I think I'm gonna keep with the e.l.f. theme today. Um, so I'm gonna take the e.l.f. putty blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. Looks like this and I'm gonna take it on a brush. I don't like sticking my fingers in products. It's not my cup of tea. This is the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake 3 in 1 Concealer in the shade Frappe Hour because I really want to keep it concentrated because I don't want to cover up what we just did. So I'm going to take a small amount first and blend it out with this. I want a mirror actually that I can look into from up above. This helps with creasing, looking in a mirror up like this because you're not creasing your eye to look down so if you're like me and you have eyes that crease like crazy and like no matter what um, try looking up into the mirror instead of looking down at it on the desk I find that helps me a lot uh, this is the NYC smooth skin loose powder it's just like the first one that I grabbed I didn't grab it for any particular reason it's literally the first one that I saw um, I'm just gonna flick. I don't like having a lot of powder on my brush because again, I am dry and I'm dry already as you guys saw earlier and I don't need any more dryness, but I do need to set my concealer or it will crease and go everywhere because every concealer creases on me. Mascara and falsies now. Mascara is the Essence Lash Princess volume and then the lashes are the Sephora lashes uh, jet setters Let me get them out of the box. I'm pretty sure these lashes have been discontinued um, But they look like this and We're gonna put those on I just put on the lashes. They were being so stubborn. Uh, neither one of those lashes wanted to apply. I think maybe my lash glue is um, getting old because they just aren't wanting to stick. So I did the under eyes or under lash line, you know. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Charmer. And I think I've actually used this one. And I'm gonna put that in my waterline. This is the e.l.f. Posh lipstick. We're using a lot of e.l.f. today. That is everything for this tutorial. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we are going to finish this album of tutorials one day. I promise. <laughs> we will get there. It has taken a long time, but we're getting there, okay? This look turned out a lot better than the first two. Just trust me, I know you didn't see them. But trust me on that, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. You know, come hang out with me every day on Instagram. I don't know. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video.